there are many unusual discoveries that have been made around the world, and while some are fascinating, others have proven to be difficult to explain. Any form of light represents hope for most people. However, in some cases, these mysterious light sources cannot be explained. So today, we take a look at these five mysterious events. The 1492 Light Sighting In August of 1492, Christopher Columbus and his crew members departed the shores and set sail for India. He set sail with three ships named Santa Maria, Pinta and Nina. Two months into their trip, the crew members spotted a flock of birds in large numbers, which the crew members concluded they were field birds after they caught some. Around 10pm on the 11th day of October, as recorded in Columbus's journal, a light was spotted that caught the attention of some of the crew members. Christopher Columbus in his journal described the light as a small wax candle that rose and lifted up, which to a few seemed to be an indication of land. Christopher's second son Ferdinand, who was also a part of the voyage crew, described the light as a candle going up and down. After this, Columbus, along with other members on board, would try and figure out what this mysterious light was. In trying to explain what the source of the mysterious light was, one member wrote that he felt the light came from a torch used by Indians at night to find their way back home. Some other people believed the light was from a fisherman in his canoe at night, but such a hypothesis has been disputed because of high winds from the sea. Another set of people believe the light was from a Bermuda fireworm that glows in the dark like a candle. Today, people put forward the idea that what the men saw on that day was actually a UFO, as even today many people the world over have reported seeing similar glowing lights above the ocean. The Brown Mountain Lights For over 100 years, there have been reports of ghost lights in North Carolina's Brown Mountain, which has also become known as the Brown Mountain Lights. One of the first reports of these lights go back hundreds of years, when natives living on the lands described seeing mysterious lights descend from the sky and dance around on the ground. The lights are said to be caused by the spirits of the locals who are searching for their loved ones. Another legend has it that a young lady was set to marry, but on her wedding day her fiancé did not show up. Heartbroken, the young woman went in search of her lover in the mountains and her spirit causes the lights to date. The first documented reports of the ghost lights was on the 24th of September 1913. This was reported by a fisherman who can explain the mysterious lights. He claimed that he saw circular red lights just above the horizon that looked strange and was not behaving like normal lights. This happened for several nights, and not long after this report, D.B. Stewart, who was working with the United States Geological Survey, made his investigations and found out the supposed mysterious lights were from train lines. But this did not stop people from reporting the mysterious lights, which made the United States Geological Survey officially study the event in 1922. They concluded that what people saw was a misinterpretation of train lights, fire, automobile lights or other stationary objects that could emit light. However, the brown mountain lights continued to glow even after a heavy flood affected the area which caused a power outage for several days, and trains and automobiles were unable to take that route because of the damage the flood had caused. Ghost Ship of Northumberland Strait For more than 200 years, a mysterious ghost ship has been seen at different places by residents that live near Northumberland Strait that separates Nova Scotia and Prince Edward Island. The phenomenon has been recorded over the years in books and articles, but it's also faced much criticism. The first recorded event happened in 1786. A lighthouse keeper at Sea Cow Head was surprised to see a boat that had three masts sailing at full speed towards the rocks, propelled by the treacherous winds of the northeast gale. With all hopes lost as the ship drew closer to the cliff, it suddenly made a turn and faced the wind and then disappeared. Over the years, all the witnesses that sighted the ship gave the same description as each other. One such sighting happened in January 1988, where a burning ship not far from Borden was spotted from a ferry, 
even though the radar instrument did not detect it. The captain of the ferry took his men and made an attempt to rescue the crew members of the burning ship, but as they drew closer the ghost ship vanished. That same night another couple spotted the burning ship, and knowing what it was did not raise the alarm but decided to watch it before it vanished. At another time a three-masted ship was reported to be ablaze at Charlottetown Harbour. A rescue team set out to save the men on board of the ship, but as they drew closer once again the ship had disappeared into their mist. The ship was never found even though a search party was sent out to look for it. No one knows the story behind the ghost ship, but many theories have been made over the years. One such theory says a captain of a pirate ship made a deal with the devil in an attempt to keep his loot from being discovered. In exchange, the captain and his crew members would sail on a burning ship for all eternity. According to the story, the deal was made when the ship was burning and about to sink after it was attacked by another ship. The Mako Light For more than 100 years, a ghostly light has been witnessed along a railroad track close to Mako Station in North Carolina. The mysterious light was seen up until 1977 when the railroad track was removed. Many people reported seeing the light, and some journalists were able to capture it on camera. It's said that President Cleveland also saw the light in 1889 when his train had to stop at Mako. Legend has it the ghost of a train worker who passed away while trying to save the lives of others in 1867 is the source of the light. On a rainy day in 1867, Joe Baldwin the worker found out that his caboose had detached near Mako from the rest of the train. Realising that his car was stuck on the tracks and a passenger train was bound to pass that track soon, Joe went back on the caboose with a lantern to try and signal the incoming train to slow down to prevent an accident. Although the engineer of the incoming train spotted Joe and pulled the brakes, there was still a collision with the caboose and unfortunately Joe passed away shortly after. Not long after the incident, the people living in Mako reported that they saw bright lights on the railroad. The residents believed the light was that of the ghost of Joe. The light stands at 5 feet tall and it sometimes flickers to get people's attention. Many theories have come up to explain the phenomenon. One of them, as explained by locals, is gas coming from the swamp, or that it could be car headlights that were being reflected. Another theory claims that lights could have been caused by static electricity up along the tracks, and light is discharged once the static electricity reaches its maximum limit. However, to this day, people believe that the cause of the light is Joe Baldwin. The St. Louis Light the St. Louis Light is a mysterious event that has been happening consistently for years in a Canadian village called St. Louis. Also known as Louis Ghost Light or St. Louis Ghost Train, the light moves across a railroad bed that's been abandoned for years. Witnesses that have seen the glow claim it changes colour and brightness as a star would. The light appears most times on the right side of the bed and shifts to the middle before vanishing. This can last from a few seconds to an hour. Others claim they have seen the light accompanied by another light whose colour is a dark red. In some cases, animal sounds are heard before the light appears. Even though the rails have been removed, the lights can still be seen from time to time. Several versions explaining the source of the light exist, but no one can truly explain the reason for the phenomenon. Most of the explanations given are similar to that of other ghost train stories. One of such tells the story of a man working with a rail company, and during one of his work days he was involved in an accident that cost him his life. Locals now say he searches the region looking for answers for what happened. Two students however receive gold medal awards in a science fair for investigating and being able to create an identical scenario as the light, which they claim was produced by the diffraction of traffic lights through trees. However, the report of the St. Louis ghost lights has been reported long before there were cars, which would remove the diffraction theory as the widely accepted explanation for the phenomenon. So what do you guys make of these five mysterious events? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, 
and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.